lost our parking space, but we haven't lost our popularity. Yeah, this may get our parking space back. Wow, look, look at, at that the, And they're so young. Great. Look at those girls. This is exactly what happened to Tony Bennett. You stick around long enough, the next generation mm -hmm. finds you, boom, you're back on top. Wow. Look at these kids. I'm psyched. They're fabulous. Listen, okay. just wade through the crowd. Not too many autographs. we got to get in and I get know. ready for the show. I've got back of the line. Wait in line like everybody else. Yeah. What? No, no, you don't know who we are. You guys are here for the uh, Dick and Paula show, right? Well, we're Dick and Paula. <laughs> How are you? Hi. Well, you're here for the show, right? Yeah. yeah. Zach and Zoe. Zach and Zoe. Uh... Hey, uh, Dick, Paula. Hi. Oh, Vicky. Hi, Hi, Vicky. What's Hi. going on? Yeah, I'm sorry. You have to come in around the side. It's what? around the corner. Just a little walk. Did they change okay. our door? On a side note, Paul, mm -hmm. it's looking very good today. Right. No, really, they're gearing up to have you on. We've got a lot of time. Hi. Is this the um, <clears throat> green room? Oh. Uh, Joseph yeah. Guillotine. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm Vicky. <clears throat> Banjo Billy. This is uh, Monsieur Guillotine. Very nice to meet you. Do, do you get royalties from the guillotine? Because with the old Banjo Billy stuff, I was... Uh, are there any kids around? I was reamed totally. Yeah, well, that's too... You know, they reamed me eight, day, eight days to Sunday. Yeah. Right? Whatever the phrase is. Six ways to Sunday, then. Oh, it felt like eight ways. Hey, give yourselves, hey, give it up for yourselves. Anyway, folks, in marriage, at some point, the lust is replaced by this incredible longing for sleep. <laughs> now, what's the difference between a rooster and an attorney? A rooster clucks defiance. <laughs> That's a good joke. I checked. What's that? Wow. Johnny Storm is killing tonight, huh? Sounds great. That's coming from the Zack and Zoe show. Oh, my God. Oh, sure. You're kidding. Uh, well, they're screaming Zoe, so... Johnny can, can get people to scream amazing things sometimes. Like, stop. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't ever... I tell Johnny Storm everything. Stop it, Dick. I ate something this morning that disagreed with me. I know that's a harsh reaction. <laughs> You know the expression, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? Now they can make him drink. <laughs> Those Japanese. Yeah, you know, I, I want to give you two a little heads up. Yeah? Uh -huh. The Zack and Zoe stage manager, whoever he is, is uh -huh. sort of, you know, loitering around here. Uh, I don't know if he's recruiting or what, but he's really kind of talking up the Zack and Zoe show. On our set? Here. Well, to, to whom? Pretty much whoever gets in his way. Has he talked to you? Um, he's chit-chatted. I'm Roger Bidet, uh, Zach and Zoe's production stage manager. I was warned about you. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything going in here? I'm very busy today. I have Dr. Joseph Guitin. Uh, and what? also, Guillotine. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. He's great, but you know, uh, have you ever made up Winona Ryder? Oh, God, I would kill. A terrific show today. How many of you are old enough to remember Banjo Billy? Woo! That's right. On the show today are people who are old enough to remember Banjo Billy. <laughs> no, we have Banjo Billy. Also, Dr. Joseph Guillotine. So, if you're having coffee, make sure you say decaffeinated, that you emphasize that. Decaffeinated. Hey, Uncle Dick! Hey, Paula. Andy! Oh, Andy, sweet! How are you? It's me, guess who? Give me a big hug. Look at you. that shirt. Oh, I'm you gonna cute. jump up on you. I know. <laughs> Catch me, Aunt Paula. Come on, a little two step, a little two step no, with no, me. No, 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 no. Uncle Dick, a little shadow box uh, like in the old days. Oh, 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 oh I got you. Oh, I'm on the rope. I'm on the rope. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about being here. This is so great. So I'm a little woozy. Oh, honey. Well, but, but don't worry. When I get on the show, everything will be up to snuff. Yeah, I have my own uh, base makeup, too. I brought that with me. Ah. Uh, oh, I, you know, ah, uh, jeez. You know, you might want to use the facilities before... Freshen up a little bit. You know, okay, you know, rough I have... flight you, you had, jeez. And, uh... This is so great! Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be okay. right back! Uh, all right. What are we gonna do? 
You, you didn't say anything to him about being on the show, uh, no, did you? No, I never. Because you, you, you get so goofy around that no. kid sometimes. You promise? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, there he is. That okay. bathroom. <laughs> did you know it was inspected twice a day? Are you aware of that? <laughs> that is incredible. So we're all set? Um, we're going to get you into makeup because you're going to be our first guest. Richard. What do you think about that? I'm in the lead-off position? You're the lead-off man, buddy. <laughs> Folks, let's give it up for America's sexiest couple, Dick and Paula. <laughs> I like that. America's sexiest couple. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Johnny Storm. Hey, this is an exciting night. Is it, Johnny? Oh, anytime I'm up this late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such a great show. You know who's here is is uh, Banjo Billy. Mike? Yes. I Banjo loved Billy. him. I had such a crush on him when I was a little oh, girl. No. Take a number. <laughs> <laughs> He's made such courageous choices in his career. First of all, to call yourself Banjo Billy. I know, that takes guts. You're really yeah. locking yourself in. Really? You know? And also on the show is a guy whose work uh, I've respected for years, Joseph, Dr. Joseph Guillotine. Dr. Wow. Joseph Guillotine is here, yeah. yeah. That should be interesting. Mm. Taking no prisoners. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't shut up. <laughs> I love to fly fish. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. really? You're a homosexual, aren't you? Oh. No, no, no. You know, Banjo Billy always said, I'm different. Remember my, the I'm different song? I do. I'm different. I'm a boy who plays with dolls. I'm different. Sing with me. I'm different. I'm different. But I am your only son. But I am your only son. Put the bottle down, Dad, and hold me. Put the bottle down, Dad, Dad and, and hold me. me. Look, Jack, uh, Andy Kindler is here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he has to get on. Do you... Well, how, how am I supposed to do that? I, I don't know. Dick and Paula want him on. He's a nephew. Um, so just squeeze him in, okay? Well, that's not going to be easy, but I'll do it for you. Thank you. Oh, and also, uh, I wanted to say hi to our new neighbors, Zach and Zoe. I know it's... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to welcome <laughs> them. That's right. On, a, on another network, which which I won't mention, but, you know, they they I, they have on their show today Robbie Knievel and, and Courtney Cox. Well, that's, that's quite... Oh, yeah. good for them. That's, yeah. that's quite impressive. Yeah, Becky, it's getting bad when you got to uh, announce uh, the guests on the other show. Melt. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, the kid Johnny Storm made a huge boner there. Yeah, don't you think? Huge story. He's a Jose Mellis, the original band leader for Jack Parr. Melt. Let him go. Uh, he just runs out of breath. Did I ever tell you the Jose Mellis, uh, Faye Emerson you story? You just told oh. it, Melt. You just told it's it. It's a cute story. Tell it again. My nephew, Andy, He's who's with us live for the first time. Andy Kindler. Andy! <laughs> wow! Let's get right to it. What's new? What's happening? What's next? Uh, I got a lot of irons in the fire. I got and a lot of things. One. Give, Give us, us one. Give us one iron. iron, honey. Well, uh, this isn't for sure. I can't guarantee That's okay. This. Just, just, just go. Us. Spill, I baby. I am very close to getting a role as a weatherman in a TV movie. Dick Paula, we gotta cut this part right now. Isn't That's that okay. great, I'm not sure. Andy? I don't know that it's happening. You can um, now, give us all the details on that, I guess, in your next segment from... Well, now, wait a second. Now, uh, my sense of time must be kablooey. All right, Dick Paula, wrap it up. This has gotta go. It's over. Real quickly, show us your weatherman. Hey, Mom, don't put away that umbrella yet because it's, we're going to get a little bit more of the wet stuff. Wow. Andy, honey, I can, the I can almost feel the rain. Really? Now, let's got... look at the five-day forecast. It, let's um, not look at it now, though, okay? And, now, I got some banter. Let's got a have a big weather banter. Andy, what? you don't want to reveal the whole thing. Oh, so... Leave us wanting more, honey. We're going to lose Andy in five, four, three... Five today, Andy Kimmer. One, and we're out. Is Thank you, Andy. Yes, Hello. We're, we're out, we're Andy. Out. We're out. Hello. That was fabulous, honey. You Andy, and I want to also say to those Andy, of honey. you who are watching out locally, Andy, that's it. How long was that? That, that was. It was. Was that twelve seconds? Because I felt the dream is dead. Almost forty years ago, during the golden age of television. The children of Worcester watched a Saturday morning show called Banjo Billy. A victim of the times, Banjo Billy was blacklisted as a communist and disappeared from sight. 
Tonight, we bring back Banjo Billy. <laughs> takes me back. Wow. Mike, uh, for me, this is such a big thrill. This is, like a, this is like a dream. Hey, can I call you Billy? Can I call you my banjo boy? Please. <laughs> you're, you're a communist, right? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm kidding. I'm going to take that in the spirit that it's intended. Can, can you laugh about it now, Banjo? You got to laugh. Yeah. Well, you know, you know the, the 50s were a time of turmoil. And... Oh, yeah. Can we talk just a little bit about the blacklisting? Yeah, yeah. Now, how hard that must have been for you? What, what, what happened? Well, it was a mass hysteria, really, Dick and Paula. Everybody and their uncle were being called communists. And if you can imagine, mm. all I really cared about were my banjo boys and girls. And all of a sudden, I'm, I, my name That's is... That's what I believe. Well, Absolutely. I love you. You were one of my heroes. Oh. Hi, just, um, just have a seat. Well, let me um, just first say, I am a perspirer. A spritzer? <laughs> yeah, I mean, take a look at me. Oh, my. I'm already, yeah. Oh. I mean, even in the makeup room, I'm mm, already, mm. I'm loaded. You know, I, I, think, I think between us, we, we probably saw every show. And we, of course, we were little kids, and I don't remember anything that was, was uh, communist. It or... was all just good fun with all the, the gang of regulars. Everybody remember uh, Big Chief Red Scare? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he was a fun. Yeah. Yeah. Big Chief Red Scare. Do you know where he is these days? Do you stay in touch? I'd give anything to know where he is. Uh, B Banjo Billy, I know everybody, yeah. everybody wants to know. I mean, you, you were so big. Uh, back in the 50s, the blacklisting came. You were gone. Yeah. What did you do? Where have you been? What, do you, what have you been up to? Dick, for a while, I was the guy in the Kool-Aid pitcher suit who would break through the wall. You oh, know? right. Yeah. I remember uh -huh. him. Wow. That was but, you? It was, yes. And it <laughs> was that your idea to break through the wall? Because that was that kind no, of No, that was all written for me. Oh. I can't take A wonderful Just... man named Roy Ellis wrote that for us. Oh. Well, the agreement was I could never show my face, but I still tried to just... Oh, uh, that's tough. Well, I, want, I would never let the kids down. Oh, thank you. What happened? Always for the kids. So you're from France? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it over here. I get here. nervous whenever I say guilty. <laughs> right, right. Any, um, any requests on the hair? I, um, I would love to do something slick back. Okay. Yeah, because I look like a hippie. <laughs> I look like I'm a member of Grand Funk Railroad over here. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. And we'll slick it back, give you a little ponytail. We're, uh, we're, we're just about running out of time here, and I would love it. I know Paula would love it. <gasps> if, if I know we what you're going to ask. What? If we could hear a song oh. from Banjo Billy. Would you, oh, Billy? Please, Do you want to hear it? To. Yes, I think so. Oh. oh, I would love it. If you'll just, i tell you what, if all and you And that's our audience talking. That's not bleed through from damn Zach and Zoe, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, honey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You know, if, I'll do it if Johnny Storm uh, will... will jo uh, Johnny Storm knows every song you ever did, Johnny, right? If you don't mind the tears, I'll be glad oh, to... Oh, bless this you. This is so emotional to oh, me. Oh, and listen, if, and if all you banjo boys and girls will, will sing along with me... You'll know the words. Now, you remember how I always used to end the show, don't you? Yeah. And now, kids, there's something Banjo Billy wants you always to remember. <gasps> there are all kinds of colors in the rainbow. Mm -hmm. There are millions of fishes in the sea. Hot dogs at every single ballpark. So why aren't the workers free? So why aren't the workers free? <laughs> That's great. God bless oh, you all. That's great. Wow. Can you, can you believe that, that, that the House on Un-American Activities people would read e some kind Yeah, you know, um, Banjo, uh, just to, to play devil's advocate here for I, a Because I second. would love to know what's propagandistic about a rainbow. I really would. Well, I, Someone I, show I, me. I, th I think maybe they... Okay. Uh, you know, there's a wonderful quote by Karl Marx who said, the crushing of imperialism is the first brick lifted out of the wall of light. But does, that, does anybody call Francis Scott Key a commie for dawn's early light? I, I don't think so. Do they, Banjo Boys and Girls? Go back to Russia! Commie <laughs> bastard! Yes. Oh, no. He's just kidding. Uh, we oh. still have free speech here at the Dick and Paul show. That's, that's okay. People like you! That's all right. No, no. That's uh, fine. Listen, I've been hearing this for a long time. And I'm sure you have. Let's thank Banjo Billy from the bottom Banjo of our hearts Billy, for coming tonight. Banjo Billy, thanks so much tonight. for being here. Great Goodbye, to see you. Well, thank you for having me. This has just been a wonderful day for me. Thank you. Thank you.
His name, now forever associated with one of the most infamous mechanisms of execution ever. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Dr. Joseph Guillotine. Thank you. How are you? Hello, doctor. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks, Thanks for, for being here. Thank you. This is a whole new look for me. Yeah, it was great. It's, yeah. Although that intro is a little menacing. I hope that... Uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, it's a common reaction. And, you know, I got no problem with it. That's good. Good for you. Yeah. How, how did you happen to... Uh... Live and let live, except for the people who got beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you... it's funny. A lot of I know that earlier in the uh, in the show, I was I was watching in the green room. First of all, I want to I want to say, how do I follow Banjo Billy? <laughs> tough, <laughs> I know, yeah, really tough. Yeah, how do you follow that funny guy? Yeah. Hey, if I could j just uh, be a Budinsky for one second, I want to say that I'm not even comfortable with capital letters. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> very um, good. Very funny. No, 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 but, but you know... How do you stop this guy? <laughs> no, but, but, you know, my feelings about capital punishment are, are actually complicated, but I, I do agree that it's cruel and unusual punishment, mm -hmm. but if we did a little more often, it wouldn't be so unusual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this guy's got to be fun to be around all the time, huh? He yeah. is a blast. Yeah. You know, the key is that you you, you got to spend money to make money. That That's the way we... What's going on there? I don't know. Did you ever see Marty with Ernest Borgnine? Yeah. Wonderful. But you know, the key to the whole thing is you got you to... Gotta... I like Ernest Borgnine a lot, though. Ernie Borgnine is underrated. Did you ever see him in the play, Coriolanus? Yeah, with Ethel Merman when he was married to her, am I right? I, uh, I, don't, I don't follow the gossip. Yeah. Now, the key is you got you to... Gotta... I never saw Marty. Yeah. I like the one with Rod Steiger better. Yeah. Well, you know, actually, I, I can tell you the story. Uh, oh, good. Please do. Took a family trip, me and the wife mm -hmm. and the kids, yeah. and we went up to Scotland. It's but, lovely. But a little rainy, and I'm not an outdoorsy Lots out of sheep. I'm not an out... Yeah, lots of sheep. I'm not an outdoorsy guy, though I love sheep. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah. So anyway, oh, I took, that the, old took, joke. took the, the wife and the kids up, and we just happened to catch a public execution, and it was great. Yeah. It was quick, it was fast, it was fun, the kids loved it. Wasn't and uh, it, it happened to be the device that is now known as my name. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. but, uh, you know, usually you go to an execution and it's like two hours it's long. It's torture, isn't it? So some this people enjoy troll. that. You know, they, the they drawing, like to see the drawing full day. And quartering. Hey, yeah. drawing Dick, and quartering. I was a guy who enjoyed that. The prolonged excitement. Just going and but, sitting down for three hours, it's like a golf tournament. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. The old timers love that stuff. Yeah. The younger crowd, honestly, they like the guillotine, you know? It was like yeah. a short attention span. You want to yeah. see a fast bang over. So it, there, it was. Uh, it was some heady times. Doctor, <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, you know what that means. Yeah, uh, you must use that one a lot, huh? You nailed it on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a punster. You I'm are. a punster. Pay your people first class. They give you first class treatment in return. Well, first class. What does that mean? Lots of dollars. Yeah, that's what I think Jack's looking for, like a dollar amount, right, Jack? Look, stop rubbing on knob. How much do you pay? Because, you know, listen, I'll tell you something very honestly. I got almost, almost $6,200 in the bank. I don't need to work at all. That's Milt's FY money. It's just laying there. That's a way better lunch, huh, guys? I'll tell you this. We don't get melted cheese. So what are you doing these days? I have a second career now, and I'm very, very happy. I'm <laughs> remarried. And um, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. And uh, what I'm doing now, I'm actually I'm pushing uh, products designed after the guillotine. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, tell us about uh, them. I did, I did bring a clip. <gasps> my most recent info ad, which, uh, which uh, me and a friend of mine did uh, okay. together. And, Let's uh, roll it. I'd like to bring out the man behind this wonder product, Dr. Guillotine. <laughs> thank you, and thank you, Nigel. Now, I'm the type of guy who can't do a thing in the kitchen. I'm the same way. Audience. <laughs> Nigel, that's when I came up with Guillotine Jr., a scale version of the original guillotine that not only makes it fun to prepare food in the kitchen, but makes it easier. Audience, do you want to see how it works? More! Yeah! Nigel, put your head right here. What? I'm kidding. Oh, oh very funny. <laughs> Nigel, this isn't all you'll get. But I will also include my Dr. Guillotine mustachioed straw basket, especially designed to hold peelings and vegetable residue. Mustachioed straw basket? Designed after the original straw baskets used to hold the heads of the decapitated victims of the revolution, Nigel. Audience, are you interested? Woo! Yeah!
That's only a clip. I mean, there, there are a thousand other products we sell on that. And, um, oh, yeah, you know, it's a whole long infomercial, right? You're quite interesting. The straw basket is doing very, very well. That's like yeah. our hottest I'd seller I'd love to right have now. one of those. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's terrific. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, could we But, you know, actually, thank... it's funny. I did bring another clip. <laughs> did you? <laughs> well, uh, Dick, I know you're going to hate this. Go right ahead. It's a reel of, of some of the bloopers and some of the fun stuff that went on during failed guillotine uh, executions. Oh, and really? There, it's, uh, it's hilarious. It's okay. A, and uh, we can run that through right now, and I can... Uh... Want to cue that up, Jack? Yeah, uh, we got it in two, one, and get the music, and go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what's going on here, Doctor? All right, let, let, let's get started. <laughs> this lady's in for quite a surprise. Hello, how are you? <laughs> That's what you get for getting the best seats in the house. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get into the act. <laughs> that poodle's going to have a hard time burying that. <laughs> hey, are we boring you? <laughs> Mm. Uh, you pull the lever. No, you pull the lever. No, you pull the lever. All right already, I'll pull the lever. <laughs> this guillotine's decided to give this guy a stay of execution all on its own. <laughs> oh, that's well, Let's scary. give it another try. <laughs> and third time's a charm. <laughs> Ooh. These two guys are, let's say, ahead of the game. <laughs> okay. Here's our version of the Rockettes. All uh, right. It's up to you, New York, New York, da 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 da. Next Tuesday on the Dick and Paula Celebrity Special. You've been outdoors a lot. Straight from the American frontier, Meriwether Lewis of Lewis and Clark. I brought a couple gifts. New explorers do it where nobody's done it before. It's <laughs> All new Dick and Paula Celebrity Special. Guests wanted, dead or alive. Next Tuesday at 10, only on FX.